Welcome back everybody, it's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. So today I'm going to work on making these tags and I am using a lot of my really delicate sari silk fabrics and little pieces of lace that I cut up and so I'm kind of doing a lace master board and then that is how I'm creating my tags. Hey guys, so for part two of my video here, what I want to do is something a little bit different. I've done this previously in my videos where I make snippet rolls and a lot of times when I do slow stitch, I'll start off using this double-sided iron-on adhesive. So I have my music sheet here. I took the one side off. So let's see here. down, give it a quick iron, okay, so I'm going to tear this sheet off, so now I have the sticky part here, and I'm just going to take the excess, I'm just going to kind of push it over. Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting my fabric pieces down. And I can move this, I just wanted to use it for my ironing purposes. Now this piece is pretty big, so I'm going to cut it because I want each tag to have different textures, different laces on them. So this method is good if you want to just get your base layer down and then once you cut your tags out you can go back and add a couple of more pieces and you know add your different pops of color uh, along with your focal points. We are going to iron this down and this makes sure that the lace is going to stick. Okay, so here we go. And it is late at night. I don't have good lighting right now, so hopefully I can show you this again tomorrow. You can kind of see the different colors a little bit more. Some of this looks almost like a tea dyed and others just look like off-white. Some look kind of pink. So then I've got my music page. I'm going to peel this off and we put the sticky side down oh, and then we're going to iron this. And of course you can do this to any kind of paper. So maybe you have some really pretty eco dyed paper, um, you know, that you want to use, which I do. <laughs> In my shop, I've got tons of eco dyed papers. I have this really pretty sleeve <laughs> that somebody sent me and I think I'm going to use it right now. So let's just cut the seam. So that covers almost the entire page, huh? So for laying out the fabric, you could, if you're just using one color, of course, very easy to just lay down your pieces. But since I'm adding the color, I want to make sure that all of my tags get a little bit of that color. So I'm cutting everything into strips 
and that way when I cut my music sheet into my tag shapes, I'll have a little bit of everything uh, on each tag. Now, I wanna think about how I'm gonna cut this because I think I wanna use these. I think I can get three. And this is why this is really good for using smaller pieces. This is really beautiful too. So many pretty laces. Okay, so I've got some scraps. Let's see here. I have some larger pieces that I think I'm going to put back. Like this is a larger section. All right, how would I do this if I've got four? I might have to do it one, two, I might have to do it like this. The other thing is this is pretty thin, but that's okay because after we add our focal point and we add a little, you know, our embellishments and everything and do our sewing around it, then we can back it so that it's a little more sturdy. Okay, let's get the middle of this. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could measure these and get them perfect, but I actually prefer them a little grungy and wonky and not so perfect. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm thinking I might actually wanna cut some of these out. So now I'm just doing a lot of fussy cutting and playing around with my focal points. And there's another set of fairies from Art House Whimsy. All the links that I'm using, um, everything is in the video description. But these printed so beautifully and I couldn't wait to use them. So I kind of jumped over to play with these. I made the backgrounds exactly the same way. And now I'm just playing around with adding a few extra pieces of lace behind or on top of my focal points.
guys so I got all my layers down in my focal points and if you can see I just did a messy some messy sewing around them now you could if you wanted to just leave them like this because you know they're a lot thinner depending on what your project is um, because this is just the music paper and we've got the the fabric on top but just doing a little bit of sewing it really does feel a lot more sturdy but what I'm gonna do is back these now so I did my messy sewing I'm gonna back them and then I am going to sew around the edges so that's what we're gonna do next and we can also I have some these thicker embellishment pieces so we can kind of go through and just glue these pieces on so those are the next steps trace here cut them out put them on simple enough now if your tags if you know exactly the size that they are i don't know if mine are all 100 percent even they kind of are so maybe i'll just go ahead and cut out four of this size So for the little embellishment pieces that I add on here, I tried using glue, glue was fine, but a lot of times I just prefer using the double-sided sticky tape. Uh, you don't have the glue gooey mess. I just put it on my finger and kind of peel off the protective layer and then put it onto the fabric piece. And I always say, you guys, don't be afraid to cut up, I mean, just one little tiny piece of lace or a little piece of trim can embellish all of your tags. So don't be afraid to cut them up into pieces. I know it's hard. Um, it took me a little while to just do it. And that's why I always say, don't be afraid to cut them up and use them. These tags, which are three by six inches, and I sewed around these. I just, these are my favorite colors. I just love them so much. And then these, they look a lot bigger, but they're just a half an inch. It's three and a half by six. So I've got these done. I started putting the, some tool here, and then I thought I can cut it see like that if you can see on here also and then I can once I sew it down I can kind of go and cut here so it's like fringy on the bottom and then sticks up also um, but I just did these two and then I thought let me see if I can make holes and put grommets in these guys so that's what I'm going to do next and then put my toppers my tag toppers but they're all backed and you see if you do the messy sewing first and then back them and then stitch around the sides you only have the stitching on the back so if you actually want to write on these they are a little you know thicker um, but that's what I did on these. Now in the in part one in that video, I did not back those those tags because I didn't want them to be too thick. So let's see if we can make holes in these. So the last thing I'm doing here, I'm just adding the grommets and then I have some Turkish ribbon that I've had for a while. It's pink and blue and it just goes perfectly with these tags. Okay guys, so let's look at some of the results that we got here. I will show these first. 
because we we did this together laying down the fabrics They're all three by six inches except for these this stack is three and a half by six so i'll show you these first i love these these digitals from art house whimsy i'll put all of the links in the video description box as i always do so these were pretty simple i just used these flower the flower head girls here's another one here and i cut a piece of these embellishments and put some some flowers on and the last one here and this is a uh, turkish ribbon i put on as my toppers here so we've got those and then just to look at the three and a half by six so there's lots of different layers here i put some little um, bling on there cut up this piece to put on and this is another piece of uh, trim that i cut up and this is also turkish ribbon really pretty this one's blue and pink perfect for these tags and this one unfortunately got caught in my sewing machine when I was sewing around the edge so and it got mangled I had to cut a little bit off of this one but she's still super cute and another one here lots of fun layers and they're all the same backed with the cardstock this one's really pretty with those deeper colors. Okay, and then going to the three by six. I just love all the little fairy girls. So again, these are just ways that you can use your, um, you know, your delicate fabrics and things that you have. And also I put the link for Sheila at Boho Daydreams, which is where I get my sari silk and a lot of my gorgeous trims. And also at Mary Not Martha, which um, again, I'll put the link, um, just a whole bunch of different fabrics. That's where I got this lace that I'm loving. I'm obsessed with this kind of lace now. <laughs> and there's another one. That's a big piece of the lace behind her. And actually this um, little piece that I cut up also came from Mary Not Martha. So this was just fun to sit down with all my, I call them my fancy fabrics and just play around a little bit. So I hope you guys liked the video series that I did here. And I hope that I inspired you to get some of your fancy fabrics out and play. So stay tuned for more creative fun.